All right, so we are doing the timing belt on the Toyota Camry. And so everything is in this area. We're gonna do the uh, crank cover or crank shaft seal, as well as the oil pump seal and gasket while we're there and the water pump. So replacing all these things, have to take all these things off first to get to there. Hopefully not too bad. The engine mount looks a little funky. Um, and get everything moved out of the way. We got alternator off, got the, uh, it's starting to rain, got the power steering um, components off. Actually, no, that's, I think this is the, yeah, this is the cruise control. Got that away, power steering um, reservoir off. Now we're just gonna try to get in here um, so we can take off the timing cover and then I did take off the belt. I didn't replace this at first. And I just noticed how much corroded it is. It looked really nice up top. So make sure you replace your serpentine belts um, because they may have some age, especially for this year. Got the wheel off so that we can get underneath and get the timing cover bolts there and the crankshaft pulley out. Um, but not too bad had to remove the cover right there for the underneath the wheel well um, things are looking good stoked that pads still have some life in it and these look like new rotors too actually um, CV axle looks good boots look fine even though I'm sure these are original Toyota parts are good so yep here we go um gotta get motor mounts off i think about two bolts under here that i gotta get rid of and then yeah this ac or this power steering line kind of an ac line kind of gets in the way might have to remove that so i can have easier access to do the timing um yeah this car's showing some age for sure you can see the rubber is kind of degrading here that protects it from heat right next to the valve cover but um pretty cool engineering uh notice the mcpherson strut which isn't that great but it'll work um yeah what is that is that the boot ripped oh yeah that's a ripped tie rod and boot bummer Maybe have to replace that someday. A little bit of leaking. Um, hopefully the oil pump seal and gasket will do the job for the leak. But not bad. Looks pretty clean underneath. Luckily, I got the new Toyota key. It's pretty sweet if you look at it. Um, the rubber ones were discontinued, so this will do. I love how solid it looks. And it's just got that classic Toyota design. All right, so we got the parts. Um, I bought the ASIN kit. One little hack that you could do with uh, getting parts that are like serpentine belts or just, um, yeah, ASIN makes a lot of Toyota parts. You can even tell right here, ASIN uh, caliper. And they're actually cheaper than buying Toyota specific. So um, same OE part, you do get the uh, timing belt instruction kit with it uh 2.2 we have the 2.0 um so for the 3s fe right there and so got the new bearings as well as new seals new belt new water pump kind of wanted to show you where i'm at now obviously it's not a tutorial but we got the oil pump off and um having a little bit of a hard time getting that crank uh crank oh man i'm losing my words but that thing off to get to the crank seal uh replacing all the seals so that everything's brand new all right so every water pump bolt has been getting sheared uh which is no bueno it's gonna postpone this project man um but, I mean, 30-year-old car, get it. 
all the water that goes in there just rust out the bolts so I'm assuming it's starting to leak it looks like in the gasket makes sense but um, hopefully that don't postpone a lot of things just a quick fix quick uh, might have to go to Toyota to get those parts or I uh, just do it myself or buy some from like a hardware store hopefully that's the case nice all right so you can kind of see the damage that the rust did on the bolts um, I mean it's it's pretty disgusting so I'm gonna have to remove those nice thing that they do have an installation dowel here so it lines up nicely uh, I gotta take that one out too um, yeah not bad not bad at all um, definitely could have used a little bit more maintenance on the cooling side of things I'm sure oil is about the same uh, when I took out the oil pump though it looked fine but yeah just you could see how much the water just degrades the bolts just gets keeps it rusty and eventually you know weakens the bolt all right guys so I stripped or sheared the bolt here and then I also sheared the bolt here for the water pump. Finally got it out. I did the lock nut or double nut met method where you put two nuts up towards each other um, and then eventually uh, loosen the nut. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the water pump now. Um, I did put a new O-ring here. I noticed that that did not come with timing belt kit. Um, they do come with an O-ring here and then there's a gasket there. Uh, no, I mean, not too bad. Hoping to get most of his, the water pump done tonight so I can finish the rest of the car tomorrow. All right, so we're finally getting to installing the timing belt, tensioner, and uh, other little things here. Uh, having a little bit of trouble. So um, to get it to top dead center, you see that little hole right above uh, the little circle thing, a uh, little circle hole. Um, so you are supposed to match that up. There's a notch in that behind that and just so hard to see um, And you know if you miss time this thing you're kind of screwed. So uh, Having a little bit of a tough time. I've, I've been trying to insert an allen key and just feeling for it But I feel like I'm about a tooth off which is not good so I'm gonna probably just sleep on this tonight and then that piece right there on the crank there's a little notch uh, that you could see. I like sharpied it and it's supposed to go on. There's like a tiny little notch there marked on the timing cover that you're supposed to set that part um, right on that tooth where the Sharpie is. So um, just gonna sleep on it tonight. Glad that I got everything on. Um, gotta do, I do gotta tighten some of the things and uh, yeah, it's looking good so far. All right guys, moment of truth. I'm gonna start up the car. I have everything hooked up and hoping that I didn't time it wrong. Uh, it was a little tough doing the timing or matching the timing mark with the cam shaft and the uh, uh, cam and the crank. So the cam was here and it was like hidden, be be it was like right next to a firewall and it was just like you couldn't see the timing mark. So I did the best I could with an Allen key to make sure it lined up with the crank. See how it goes. I've done four timing belts. It's worked out. If this one fails, this is going to be the first one. It's here. Oh, it sounds good. All right. Sounds good. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this. I did uh, not put any coolant in the car yet. So no coolant is running through the block. Uh, I just wanted to test it out real quick.
good. I think there's a little bit of a rattle because there's no coolant in there. Um, I'm gonna fill it up tonight and then go for a test drive. Let's go. Here she is. She's actually been sitting on the blocks for a while. <sighs> Finally happy that she's good to go. All right, final touches, doing the coolant, letting all the coolant run through, and then making sure we bleed out any air bubbles. But motor sounds good. So far, heck of a job to take everything out here and then ran into some issues, replaced the hoses on the heater um, because the O-ring was, the distributor O-ring was leaking, so I might as well take care of those. Um, didn't want to do this job twice, so yeah, not bad. And uh, yeah, painful, painful one, because just because a lot of bolts broke off, that's a new bolt right there, caused some issues and just prolonging the project, but running good so far.